Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial for you guys. This video is in partnership with Sephora Inside JCPenney to share with you guys some new products that I got from them that I wanted to try out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let's get started. First, I'm gonna be using this Glam Glow Primer and all of the names of the products will be in the description box, by the way. Um, and this primer actually is a mattifying primer. It smells a lot like their Super Mud Face cleanser and their super mud mask it has like that charcoal in it so it is going to help draw out a lot of the oils in your skin and prevent your skin from getting too oily and just rubbing that into my skin to get my skin ready and prepped for my makeup so this is milk makeup's hydro grip primer i've used up so much of it i'm almost done i need to get another one it is amazing for hydrating but also it helps your makeup to stick to your skin too so i'm using this on top of the other primer just to give me a little bit more hydration and allow my makeup to really stay put on my face my hair was getting in my way it was annoying me so I'm just gonna pull that back really quickly okay now I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation this is the color 70 WY and I'm also gonna mix in a little bit of Laura Mercier's flawless fusion foundation in the color pecan dabbing that on with the beauty blender but then I decided I don't want to use the beauty blender anymore and I want to just go ahead and use a brush and I started blending that with my brush instead because I like the way the brush gives a very uh, smooth and even application and it keeps the foundation full coverage and matte. Moving on, this is the Milk Makeup Thick Foundation and this is the color Hazelnut. And I like to use this for contouring and I'm just gonna contour the hollows of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose and around my forehead because I wanna give like a little tanned appearance even though I kinda already am a little bit tan. I just wanna make sure that the edges of my face are nice and blended and everything is chiseled per to perfection you guys know i like my face to look nice and angular even though it already is pretty defined i have very defined facial structure but i do like to add a little bit of emphasis emphasis <laughs> can't talk today emphasis to that because you know i like my face i want my face to stand out you know so and then i'm going to go in with a concealer this concealer is Fenty Beauty as well. This is their Pro Filter Concealer in the color 360. And I'm just using that to highlight under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. And I like to let that set for a little bit, but for time's sake, I am going to speed up that process by blow drying it with this little fan that I have, my little desk fan. And once that gets nice and stiff, I'm gonna blend it out. Uh, with a beauty blender now i like to let this get stiff before i start blending it just so that the coverage is good because i don't want the coverage to shear out when i use my sponge to stamp it in you know um so i'm very lightly using a very light hand blending out that concealer next i'm going to add some setting powder on top and that is the fenty beauty setting powder in the color honey and i'm just setting my under eyes with that very lightly using a very light hand and instead of like just putting this down, baking, and then wiping it off with a brush. I like to press this into my skin because I don't like to move around my concealer and wipe away what I've already done. So I'm just gonna let that set for a second. And then once it's settled, I'm going to blend that in and press it into my skin very lightly, but I am pressing down, making sure that all of the product is where it needs to be. I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty palette. Now Fenty Beauty has a plethora of new eye products that I'm super excited about. I have two snap shadow palettes that I'm gonna be using. Now the snap shadows are $25 each. Uh, there's eight different ones you can choose from. They're very small, so you can take them with you on the go. I did take one with me on vacation and I loved it. The two palettes that I'm using now, the one palette, which is True Neutrals, and I'm also gonna use the Smoky palette, which is palette number six, I believe. First, I'm just taking this number one palette, blend that nice brown shadow into my crease to give a very neutral but warm, give it some definition, you know? And I love that these shadows are very soft but they're easy to blend. Um, they go on nice, the pigmentation is great, and you can use this all year round, you know, it's not like a seasonal thing, so I love that these palettes are so versatile. You can pretty much do any look that you want with them. I'm also gonna take that shadow down on the, my lower lash line, just to give some definition there as well, and get it ready for the smokiness that I'm about to put on the bottom. 
So because I want this look to be a little bit sultry and sexy, I am going to add a little bit more definition to the crease. So I'm gonna go in with a darker brown and this more pointed, precise brush. And I'm going to um, just blend that into my crease as well, just to give some definition. And I'm gonna blend that out. And then I'm gonna go in with the shimmery, the shimmery champagne shade. And I'm going to put that on the lid and then I'm gonna blend around the edges with the original shade that I used for the crease, just to make sure that everything is blended nicely. Next, I'm going to use the new Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Eyeliner. And uh, this is gonna give you a nice sultry, smoky look, but it's very subtle. I like that this pencil is not super, super creamy because it stays put really well. It's a great base for eyeshadow to go on top. Um, and it glides on very smoothly. It's kind of like gives you like an effortless application. It's very weightless, like it doesn't feel like anything at all. Like it doesn't feel like I have a whole lot of heavy makeup on my eye. And there's 20 different colors in this. So you can actually get a matte or a shimmer. They have shimmer finishes and matte finishes. But once it's on, it does not move. It's transfer proof, smudge proof, bulletproof, okay? Like, but this is not going anywhere. It stays put. It's a very good pencil, I feel like. So I think you guys would like it. Um, but I'm just smudging that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the number six palette and I'm gonna take this dark grayish black color and I'm going to blend that into my, my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go back with the brown that I use in my crease and I'm going to blend that on top just to make sure that everything is blending seamlessly and it completes the entire look. This is the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. This mascara is great for volume um, and it actually helps curl them as well. Um, but it gives a lot of definition to the lashes and I feel like it is very natural looking, but also it gives you a nice edgy black, intense black. The shade that I'm using in the mascara and in the fly pencil, I forgot to mention, is Cause I'm Black and I love the name because <laughs> it's Black History Month, so it just fits. Next, I'm gonna add this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner, and I'm gonna just put that in the inner corners just to give me a nice little pop of disco ball. You know what I'm saying? Next, I'm gonna do my brows. The brow pencil I'm gonna use is Hourglass, and this is the color Auburn. I do like to do my eyebrows in a reddish color because my hair is a reddish color as well. I like to mix Auburn with a little bit of my um, Benefit pencil in the color five. I believe this is like a dark brown and I add that in just for some dimension because my roots are dark So it just kind of helps to blend those together. I'm gonna add some bronzer just a little bit This is the Fenty Beauty and this is the color uh, Coco Naughty. I'm also going to add some highlights So this is milk makeups highlighter and this is glaze. Yes, it's the color glaze it gives me a nice glazed donut look I love it and um, I'm just gonna add that to the cheekbone area. And then on top of that, I'm going to add Afternoon Snack, and that is a Fenty Beauty highlight. And then I'm gonna spray my entire face with some setting spray, and this is Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. For the lips, I am going to use this NARS lipstick. I forget the name, I'll make sure to put it in the description box. As well as this Fenty Beauty lipstick, and I believe this is the color unbutton um it is just a nice nude and i'm gonna blend that in with my finger blend those two together make sure it's nice and even and then on top of that i'm gonna add fenty beauty's lip gloss and this is the newest shade sweet mouth it's like a light pink color it's very pretty and we're done so this is the entire look be sure to head to your local sephora inside jc penny to check out these new fenty beauty eye products and you can get a free fenty beauty sample during the month of february so be sure to check that out i'll have links to everything in the description box thank you to sephora inside jc penny for sponsoring this video and i will talk to you guys in my next one okay